I want to live off dividends and I pull them 100%. So I'm going to compare SVOL to funds I own currently or have owned in the, in the past and see which one is best and which ones I can really live off dividends with. This is Mike, the Tactical Stock Scamper. All right, all right. We're going to battle SVOL today versus Feppy, Spy T, Wimax, The Godfather, Jeb Q, and AMZY. I have owned all these at one point or another or currently own them. And all these with their goal was to pull 100% of the dividends most months. Now, I know every month can be different. We have a bad year, bad whatever. But the goal is to be able to pull dividends from these funds. So I want to see how SVOL compared to them. And uh, they're all different. They all have different underlines. None of them are the same at all. Except for one major purpose. And that is pulling 100% of the dividends most of the time. So how did SVOL do? Let's find out, baby. This is all of these are with $10,000 invested at the inception of these different funds because SVOL has been around longer than most of them. Okay, let's start here. SVOL versus FEPI. FEPI came online after SVOL. Now, again, $10,000 invested. If you reinvested the dividends, SVOL, you make 10000 972 FEPI, you make 11768 That's what dividends reinvested. We don't care about that. We want to know what's going to happen when we pull all the dividends. Which one is better? Total return here. Okay. With dividends pulled out 100%. 10000 invested. In SVOL, you make $1,019. With Feppy, you'd make 11525 So we're going to put the win to old Feppy right there. Feppy just whooped S-Vol. So if you're trying to pull 100% of the dividends, you'd make a lot more with Feppy. Okay. Next, s versus the new dog on the block, Spy T. Obviously, this is a very limited time frame because Spy T has only been out, what, a couple months? With dividends reinvested and putting in ten thousand dollars as your initial investment as a VOL you'd have ten thousand three hundred and sixty six dollars with dividends reinvested to spy T you'd have ten thousand two hundred and seventy nine so if you reinvested the dividends you'd be up on S fall what about without reinvesting them S fall ten thousand three hundred and seventy five Spy T, 10289 S-Vol is beating Spy T currently in that category. Okay, that's, um, was not expecting that. Because with Spy T, you know, it, it moves up with the market. When the market goes up, S-Vol does move up. But honestly, guys, it stays in the channel. And S-V-O-L's price is basically in the channel it goes up it's crushed come back down goes back up and it, it's beautiful really stays in the channel you're not going to get a lot of price appreciation nor a lot of price depreciation and the dividends are amazing well depending upon your perspective um you get 30 cents a share no matter what the doggone share price is this thing is consistent and steady as anything out there so there's that for it, for sure. You know what you're gonna get paid month in and month out. Now, SVOL versus YMAX. Okay, SVOL with dividends reinvested. You'd have $10,584. Check this one out. YMAX, you'd have $11,305. So, Feppy's crushing it. YMAX is beating it. Now let's look at what dividends um, not reinvested with pulling them all. As of all, 10,604. YMAX, 11,341. So all of these so far 
are above incept above the ten thousand dollar price that we started at these funds inception so so far you could have pulled all the dividend from all of them and not lost money pretty incredible ymax is beating s wall and uh s wall is beating spy t currently and feppy is just crushing it check this one out svol versus the godfather jeb q now this is a pretty good test These are, this is like you know two-year test we have now now we have something with some some longevity it's only two years granted but you get the point s ball with dividends reinvested twelve thousand seven hundred and ninety jeb q four thousand twelve thousand twelve thousand four hundred and sixty two Esval is beating Jeb Q with dividends reinvested. Check this one out. With dividends totally pulled out, not reinvested, share price only. Esval, $13,387. Jeb Q, $13,003. Esval is beating Jeb Q and Spy T right in the middle. Um, I did not expect it to beat Jeb Q. I figured Jeb Q would beat it, and I figured Spy T would beat s -Fall. That has not been the case. Now the biggest surprise of all, AMZY. I, I was astonished when I saw these numbers. So let me share these with you. Now, you may ask me, Mike, why don't you put up all the different charts and show them? That's because I don't know how. I am illiterate when it comes to technology, and I don't know if I ever want to learn. So there you go. You just got me reading out of a notebook. So just know old Mike put in his homework for this one. Okay. SVOL versus AMZY. I no longer own AMG. I sold it for profits once again, but I'll buy it back again whenever it dips to my liking. Okay. SVOL. At AMG's inception, with dividends reinvested, SVOL you make eleven thousand and fifty-three dollars. With dividends reinvested with AMG, you'd make fourteen thousand seven hundred and eight dollars. Beating that thing by three thousand dollars, AMG is. Wow, did not expect that. <coughs> now. If you were to pull all the dividends, what's it look like? SVOL, $11,141. AMZ, $14,705. Again, just crushing SVOL. So out of all these, comparing them to SVOL, AMZ is number one with living off dividends. Well, well ahead. Fepi is next up. Then WiMAX, <coughs> then SVOL, then Spy T, then Jeb Q. <coughs> Hope you enjoy the content. This is Mike, the Tactical Stock Scalper, out.